Greetings, everyone. Greetings, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Brown Girls Are Beautiful. This is a continuation of where I left off. You all was able to retrieve some of my information. So I decided to come back on and share with you all if you care. Okay. So where did we leave off? We were talking about Kevin Samuels and friends, you all. Okay. Kevin Samuels and friends. So with that being said, and with no further ado, let's get into it, you all. I am going to now share my screen because I was able to retrieve my documents, okay? Yes, a little thinking goes a long way. All right, so what I'm going to do, we're just going to examine the house of the alleged family friend you all and as you can see i'm not putting his address up here out of respect for him and his family because i don't believe in doing things like that um because he has not revealed his address but this is public record if you wanted to check but this is his house okay this is the attorney of ks well ks is family uh, this is the spokesman for the family, the alleged friend of the family. This is his house, okay, out in Texas. It's estimated of uh, estimated value of three twenty three, okay. That's three hundred twenty three thousand. You all. It is currently off the market. It's Fort Bend County, all right. And so what I'm going to do is just go through so you can see that it is a beautiful abode. It is a brick home, a two-car garage, fenced-in yard. Um, as you can see, here's the front door. He does have a ring doorbell. So if you try anything funny, uh, he will be able to see you and hear you. <laughs> this is the back. It is a covered patio, you all. And out there, it looks like there's some workout equipment, okay? A freshly manicured yard. All right, look at the green grass. Looks like some palm trees out there. He does have a generator, all right, by Generac. Those are good to have. Some of you all don't have a generator. If you can, get yourself a generator, especially with, you know, the way things are going right now. You know, these people are plotting on us. So those are good to have you all. This is the bedroom, okay? And now you can see that there is a double window right here in the bedroom. This looks to be a feminine touch because you have the white, um, you know, rug right here. Look at that headboard. Look at the shiny nightstand. Okay, this is a feminine touch. Now, this does resemble one of those chairs. This does look like the same style. You have a pink suitcase. And I want you to see this picture right here. Okay, this is a female frame, if you will, body. All right, this is another angle, another view of the room. Another female picture right here. This is some more of the, uh, I guess this is like the chest, but it's got the mirror image to it. And as you can see, that is the, the master bath. Back here looks like the closet. Again, we have another view of the room with the, with the flooring. So they put a rug right there. And what I would have done is gone with an oversized comforter, okay? And I probably wouldn't have gone with gray. I probably would have gone with white. But, you know, it is however they feel that they want to de decorate. All right. Now, as you can see, the TV is hung up. So let's continue to go. Now, what do these look like? These look like clothes of an attorney, okay? Shoes are all put away up here nicely folded uh all of this is organized and you can see there's probably some men's cologne and lotion and whatever have you in this casing right here and up here you can see the lighting continuing on there's some clothes here on this shelf ties are hung okay this looks like a dress of some sort all right and as you can see these are the bowl sinks I don't particularly care for these. I wouldn't have gone with this backsplash and this tile, but this is what they have, okay? Blue, I don't know what, this looks like the shape of a tub, but this is the sink. 
and it's blue. Okay, and then it looks like a chandelier. Is that a chandelier right there? Or is that a reflection of the chandelier? But you can see this is a stand up, uh, the stand up, the stand up shower, double vanity sink, you all. And they have, uh, it looks like they've done some updating to the bathroom. I think they did this themselves. I think they customized this themselves. It's what it looks like. It's dark in there. Yeah, so this is a chandelier over top of the bathtub. Oh, so I thought it was a sink. This is actually a bathtub. Why is it blue? I don't even know, y'all. All right, let's continue on. All right. All right, someone tried to have an accent wall right here with, with this purple color. As you can see, there's a car seat. Uh, purple and white is what they went with in this room. This is another room. They have an accent wall. You can see this is the evergreen wall right there. Okay. All right, lime green. They like gray and they like the mirror look with the... Um, with the uh, furniture, the bedroom furniture. Another accent wall, which is dark blue, you all. When you have small rooms, it's best to go with neutral colors or light colors or mirrors. It makes the room look bigger than what it really is. I, I don't necessarily recommend dark walls in smaller rooms. Let's continue. So here's a, another bathroom with the bowl sink. Okay, they've definitely customized uh, the cabinetry in there. You can definitely tell this is, you can just tell that this is something they did themselves. And uh, I don't know, but if you have children, I don't know how good that works for children. As you can see, those are the toothbrushes and everything. All right, so this is a desk area over here. Here's the living living room area, I guess. Yep, there you have it. And this is the kitchen. All right, the kitchen doesn't look bad. I wouldn't have gone with the dark backsplash. I would have, light is better, y'all. I like light and neutral. I don't know why purple is in there, but definitely, you know, it's an open concept in the kitchen. All right. Stainless steel appliances with the gas gas stove top, you all. A lot of people like gas. All right. Yeah, so it looks like they have a fireplace. Um, here is the dining, the seating for that. Okay. They like gray. So gray is all throughout the home. And as you can see, they have the area rug. Here's the coffee table. This is the conversational area with a ceiling fan and a bookcase. All right, so that's that. Over here, there's another dining space. So I guess this is the formal dining area, you all. All right, now everyone recognizes this room. This is the infamous room, you all, of uh, Mr. Kevin Samuel's friend, the family attorney himself, where we see a lot of the podcasts take place. And as you can see, this is his sofa. I'm, my apologies. This is his chair. Excuse me. Those are the two mirrors that we often see in the backdrop, in the background. And th these right here, these are two clear chairs. So this is the room where he does his podcasting from. Okay? So this is his home. This is his house. Because this is the chair. Those are the mirrors. This is what it looks like in the background. So this is another view. So actually he's sitting downstairs. I thought he was actually in a separate room, but he's actually sitting downstairs doing that. That's the stairway. We can see this is another bathroom area, probably the powder room, laundry area. All right. And that is that, you all. So that is that is the... Uh, the home of the family attorney, you all, in case anybody was interested. <laughs> I hope you appreciate this research, you all. <laughs> all right, so let's go on to exhibit number two, okay? I will share my screen. 
And let's see here. All right. So as I had pointed out, uh, the family attorney has been in and out of court. As we can see, he has a wife, an ex-wife named Stephanie. Okay. Her name is no longer uh, Sperling. She has changed it. As, and in the interest of Dennis A. Sperling, and then it has the minor children. Okay. On May 26, 2010, a divorce with children case was filed. So he filed for divorce, okay? The case was filed and he was represented by Roger J. Boudreaux Jr. against Cola Stephanie Renata. And she was represented by Cheryl uh, Alexander in the jurisdiction of Fort Bend County, Texas. Okay, category is divorce with children. This was last updated February 21st, 2021. The filing location was Fort Bend County, Texas, you all. Okay, that is that. That is that. And who knows why they got divorced? I don't know. I have no idea, y'all. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. Let's continue. Let's continue. He also, you all, if you want to check this out, he has, if you want to go to his Facebook page, okay, because this is public information. Um, he has um, a brand called Coffee King International Incorporated, you all. Coffee King International Incorporated. I would show it on my screen, but I'm not going to show it on my screen because just look it up for yourself. It's called C Coffee, K-O-F-F-E-E, -E, King International I-N-C, all right? Coffee King International. If you go, I was going to show you the... Um, I was going to show you the screen, but I cannot do it right now because it's going to show too much. So just go there and actually I will type it. I'll type it for you. Coffee King International INC on Facebook. Okay. If y'all want to check that out, check it out. All right, let's continue on. Let's continue on, you all. Now, there is some more information that he's an independent business owner of RDS Holdings. Again, that is R is in Rainbow, D is in Dover, S is in Sam Holdings. RDS Holdings. He's an independent business owner there, okay? So I just thought I would point that out. Now, let's see, what else did our research find? Our research found some other stuff too because your girl, MK, all right, I haven't even gotten into her yet, and I might save her for next time, okay? But she also had a divorce, and um, in that divorce, we were able to find that information as well. But since I'm going to end it right here, I'm going to just stop right there and, uh, you know, hold off for the next time, okay? So I'm not even going to get into her for right now. You all, this has been an addition, okay? to the last episode of Brown Girls Are Beautiful. I hope you have enjoyed this little bit of information that I have uncovered that I've shared with you all. And if you have, please, you know, give me a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, you all. I will be coming with more information for you all. And until next time, you all stay blessed, stay beautiful, and remember to continue to walk in your divinity. All right, y'all, and we are signing out just like that.